other cuties out here. One kind of got me a few minutes ago. But that's okay. That's okay. A lot of fun out here in the Oh, Julie Bass is joining us now. She's an executive director out here of all of these fabulous ag exhibits. Welcome to you. And I, oh my goodness, I just got it too. I have to introduce you to little cat woman as well. What do you have to say, precious one? <laughs> Only three weeks old. Look at this precious baby. I've been getting lots of kisses. This has got to be an incredible experience to work out here. And there's a lot of new stuff going on. Tell us about some of that. Yeah, so in Ag Venture, we try to create an experience in agriculture. Um, and so you can come and come through the petting zoo. You can ride a pony, but you can see uh, the birthing center. There's bees. There's Ag Venture Park. And so one of those things that helps make makes up Adventure Park is the parakeet encounter, and so that's one of the new things that you can walk through and you can feed a parakeet. And then we also have Farmer Jill. She is um, creating a whole scape of landscape of different kind of balloon art that you can see. She's got she's going to make horses. There's a Ferris wheel, and so those are a couple of new things you can see in this exhibit. Now a lot of folks would wonder parakeets, agriculture, but parakeets can be known to pollinate a lot of agriculture. Yeah, sure. They're they're known pollinators, so we thought that was a good fit for the bees and the birds, <laughs> and you can also plant a seed in that area. You know what's so neat out here is just life. When I walked in this morning and I saw all the babies and I saw little chicks being hatched, I mean, it just really is such a great life lesson and a reminder to us all of how fragile and beautiful life is. I don't, I'm being really cliche, but I'm serious when I, and sincere when I say that, it's how it always makes me feel. Well, that is, the agriculture is life, and that's what, that's what the message that we try to spread here is why this is so important, because this is what sustains us all, and it is precious. And the agriculture does generate a lot of money for scholarships as well here in the state. Yes, sir, absolutely. The, we're number, one of the number one producers in many elements of what comes out of this state, and so that's why we want to make sure that everybody that may be foreign to the agriculture world gets here and gets a little more familiar with it. Oh, well, you showed it all off, and that's really great because I have to say, for an adult, is it, it is a lot of fun being in here in the bedding area. Oh, yeah. You can come out and you can learn a little bit, but you can also have a lot of fun. Exactly. Now, what, what does this particular exhibit look like? How early can people start coming out? So, Adventure, well, our gate's open at 8, but Adventure is open from 9 to 9 daily, including all the shopping, and you can come out and watch all cattle shows, horse shows, everything. Well, thanks for being with us today. I mean, it is just a little piece of country heaven on earth out here today. <laughs> so fun to be here at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo all morning long. We'll be showing you some of those exhibits that she just talked about and give you a true taste of the road. Yeah. Oh, yeah, our entire 9 o'clock hour is devoted to Hometown Friday here at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Back to you in the studio now. <laughs>